Tip number four, add a page reference next to the port. Do you know what I mean? This. These numbers here. Do you know what they are? These numbers, they tell you on what pages this signal continues. And uh, it's very useful. I personally use it a lot because it's a very quick way how you can uh, follow the signals. For example, let's say when I uh, browse through the processor pages and I would like to see where this particular peripheral is connected, I immediately see it continues on the page 17. I just go here and yeah, have a look what is connected here. It, as I said, it's very, it's, it's probably the quickest way how you can follow the signals. And uh, it's especially useful if uh, you print your schematic and if you print it on paper, then uh, this is probably only the most comfortable way how you can follow the signals between the pages on the paper. In the PDF, okay, you can use search, you can search based on the net name, but even in PDF I use it a lot. And uh, many times it's not difficult to add these numbers. Many times your software may generate it uh, automatically, so you can just do it. Many, many professional schematics, or maybe even all the professional schematics, they include these numbers close to the ports or close to the off-sheet connectors, which tell you where the signal continues. And it can be also very useful uh, when you are checking schematic, because uh, if you create this port, you usually do it because the signal should continue on the other page. And uh, after you generate these numbers, and there is no number close to this port, you immediately see like, uh, maybe there is something wrong with the signal, yeah, because it should continue somewhere and it doesn't. So it can help you also prevent some uh, mistakes or problems. In the Altium, you can generate it here, reports for cross-reference add to project. I know you can generate it in ORCAD, I'm not sure about the other software. And sometimes you can, uh, you can uh, have options to set uh, what you would like to show here. Normally I only use the page numbers, but for example in Altium you can go here to preferences and here you can set some other uh, other method how you would like to show it. For example, you don't have to use the page number, you can use page name, yeah, but then it's so long it's, it doesn't really make sense. So don't forget, tip number four, add a page reference next to the port. Why? Because you can very simply see on what page the signal continues.